Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot and I'm on with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to the district of Selby in North Yorkshire. Now I'm beginning this one at a car park, or at least a car park that's down there. Now if you were to go down there, I'm going to walk it actually because my car is parked just here. Uh, you will find one of the most impressive churches that I think I've ever been to on the channel. And you'll find that in the parish of Saxton with Scarthingwell. Saxton with Scarthingwell is one very interesting parish in the Selby district of North Yorkshire, 14 miles southwest of York and 12 miles east of Leeds. We're beginning this one with Scarthingwell, the smaller of the two settlements, by driving into the village from Barkston Ash, the village directly to the south along the A162 and our last Selby episode. Scarthingwell is pretty small, only having a handful of houses and no real amenities like a shop or a post office. It's located down a dead end road off the A162 between Barks and Ash and Toton. However, Scarthingwell wasn't always like this. This is the location of one of England's lost country houses, Scarthingwell Hall. Part of the Scarthingwell estate still exists and we'll be able to see the church which was associated with it in a short while. The estate had a lake which still exists and the area the church stands in is known as Lakeside. John Davenport was employed by Lord Hawke in 1790 and 1791 to form the lake and build a bridge across it. To the north of the hamlet, Scarthingwell features a golf course, set in a tranquil, rural surrounding, offering an enjoyable 18-hole par 72 course over 6,631 yards, and it's become well established since opening in 1990. Now we're heading for a separate part of Scarthingwell, which we'll need to drive to. This is the area known as Lakeside, which I alluded to earlier. Down here, we'll find the church and a care home, but the rest of the property down here is private, still a part of the aforementioned Scarthingwell estate. The church here is the stunning Church of the Immaculate Conception. With its rich history, this is a part of the ecclesiastical parish of St. Joseph the Worker, which we have to understand first. The parish of St. Joseph the Worker consists of two churches, this one and a small church in Sherburn in Elmet, built in 1984. But initially, there was only one, this church. The expansion of Sherburn and Elmet in the early 1970s encouraged the then parish priest, Father Paul Moxon, to plan building a church within Sherburn's new housing to be more accessible than the estate church of the Immaculate Conception here in Scarthingwell, which is about three miles to the north. In 1852, three years after Lord Hawke purchased Scarthingwell Park in 1849, he established a mission here. Mass was initially said in a hired room until this church was constructed. The foundation stone for this church was laid in January 1853 and the church was opened by Cardinal Wiseman on the 8th of June 1854. Well folks, I've been to some fantastic churches in my time, but I think this one's got to be right up there with one of the best absolutely amazing i'm sure nikki would like this one with a keen architectural eye it was bequeathed to the bishop of leeds in 1945 
and it was he who invited the French house of Paul Clares to establish a convent in the hall. They added a chapel to the southwest corner of the church in 1948 with a separate entrance and staircase to the gallery. However, they didn't stay for long and the hall became a school until in 1960 when the hall was demolished. So there is a lake here at the church as well, but I can't get any closer than this because there's a million of these signs along this fence telling you it's private property. You can at least see the lake though. Okay, so we've seen Scarthingwell and now it's time to see Saxton. This is uh, much bigger than Scarthingwell. It's uh, almost like a, a normal village, shall we, shall we say. Certainly not a hamlet like Scarthingwell is. Let's have a little wander around this place and see what we can find. I really struggled for information with this one, so any help from Saxton natives or those living close by to add to this one would be appreciated. Here's what I did find. Saxton is much bigger than Scarthingwell, but even so, it's still one of the smaller villages within the district of Selby. The resident population of the village is about 250. It's close to the Totem Battlefield, which is an important local landmark that we'll touch upon when we reach the church here. The closest town is Tadcaster. The place name Saxton is first attested to in the Doomsday Book of 1086, where it appears as Saxton, spelt with a U as opposed to an O. This is from the Old English Sexton, meaning town or settlement of the Saxons. Of all the Anglo-Saxon names to come from Britain, Saxton is one of the most ancient. The name is a result of the original family having lived right here in the village. The surname Saxton was first found in Lancashire, where they held a family seat from early times, and their first records appeared on the early census rolls taken by the early kings of Britain. Distinguished members of the family include Nicholas Shaxton, who was the Bishop of Salisbury, born probably about 1485, a native of the Diocese of Norwich. A small village together with Scarthingwell, the parish covers a wide area, much larger than the village you see before you. In total, it comes to 15.27 square kilometers. The village has less than half of the parish's total population, which comes in at 592. These figures give this one a population density of 38.11. It's 100% white British in terms of ethnicity, and interestingly, the largest age group living within Saxton with Scarthingwell is the 50 to 59 bracket, making up as it does 124 of the 592 strong population. There are a few children here too. The average house here is very pricey. The village boasts an average house price of £536,000. This compares with the average property on Scarthingwell Park, the housing estate we passed earlier to get to Lakeside, coming in at £459,000. One thing you certainly wouldn't instantaneously know about Saxton would be the surviving medieval mot of Saxton Castle, which was built in the 11th century. You might remember Botham Saul in Bassett Law and the mound of earth that was seen at the very end of that video. 
Here it's a little less obvious. Saxton's castle was located to the south of the village, to the east of Main Street and to the north of Headwell Lane. Overhead satellite imagery does little to aid you in spotting this landmark, as it looks just like a field. Right, now then Saxton and Selby locals, have a look at this. I've already left one of these on the notice board in the church. Now I'm going to leave one on this notice board as well. Now two things about this notice board. First, this parish's name here is Saxton Com Scarthingwell. Now the actual official name of it is Saxton with Scarthingwell, but it actually means the same thing. Saxton Com Scarthingwell, that means uh, with. It's a Latin term, so it's the same thing. Also, have a look at this. It also says with, I don't know whether this is lead or lead, but that's going to be the next episode. And that's a question for you guys. Is it lead or is it lead? Because uh, I don't know. I'm going to call it lead in the episode, just, just to forewarn you. And that is that about this notice board. Right, I, I better stop uh, talking because I'll put this card on it now. There you go, officially done. Saxton Castle retains important evidence for the study of the continued development of the feudal system from its imposition after the Norman Conquest until the end of the Middle Ages. Today's picture bit will show you exactly where Saxton Castle was located. Saxton was a parish and township in the upper division of Barkston Ash Wapentake. Back in 1868 it was described as a village of small extent, built on an acclivity, which is a posh sounding word for an ascending slope. It was chiefly agricultural. The parish included Scarthingwell and the township of Toton. Saxton is a reasonably well served village, all things considered. Here you'll come across an Anglican church, a primary school, and a village hall. At the southernmost extent of the village is a cricket club, which despite looking like not being far away from Main Street's junction with Headwell Lane, was in fact quite a trek up a small hill. Saxton Cricket Club play here. There is a bus service here, and according to the Bus Times website, there are four that serve the village. These are the 492, 494 and 495, with a fourth service to Tadcaster Grammar School. There is a playground at the village's far northern end, and not far from here is a village hall which I completely missed on the map. The picture bit will accommodate for that though. There's one pub in the village, the Greyhound, owned and operated by Samuel Smith's Old Brewery. But there is in fact a second pub which just falls within the boundaries here. We'll get to that later. So much like Scarthingwell, Saxton has a church as well. Now it's not as grand as the one we've just seen, but it looks pretty nice. Let's go and check it out. All Saints Church is next. This is a grade one listed structure, which dates back to the 11th century. This has a fairly extensive churchyard. The men who gave their lives in the First World War are remembered on the war memorial outside the church and also on a plaque inside the church. In 1868, this church had three bells in its tower, although I couldn't find any more recent references to what's in there now. Also, in 1868, the Wesleyans had a place of worship in the village, which is seemingly no longer active. The chancel has a pointed priest's door and the remains of a round arched opening. There's a medieval octagonal font on a 19th century base. Monuments here include four 17th century tombstones to members of the Hungate family, three with coats of arms now set into the chancel walls. There's also late 18th century monuments to Lord and Lady Hawk, with carving in relief by I.F. Moore. So I was actually hoping to get into the church in Scarthingwell, uh, but I think this is made up for it because this is pretty nice on the inside, I have to admit. Check out that stonework, guys. Up high on the wall at the back of the church is a banner referencing the Battle of Toton. Some of the bodies of those who were killed in the Battle of Toton were buried here in the churchyard. Lord Dacre and Lord Westmoreland, both slain in the battle, were among those to be interred in the churchyard. Here's the church notice board I alluded to earlier. And next door is Saxton's Primary School, a small school of just 59 children, 
which is a member of the STAR Multi Academy Trust, which we met back in Church Fenton. With not much more to show you, there is, of course, one other pub within these boundaries. But to get to that, we need to take a little drive, and that's coming after today's picture bit. Alrighty, uh, that's pretty much it for Saxton with scarfing. Well, time for you guys to have a picture bit now. Here it comes. Okay, uh, to finish this one off, I've come to Saxton with Scarthingwell's other pub, although you wouldn't know it belongs to Saxton with Scarthingwell because it's well out of the village. This is the Crooked Billet, and uh, this is in the very, very far west of the parish, right next to a river, in fact. I don't know what river that is without looking at the map. I'll put it in a caption down there once I've had a chance to look and see which river this is. And the reason I'm ending here is quite simply because my next video means I need to go over there, which means I can leave the car parked here outside the Crooked Billet and take a walk across that field because across that field is something very interesting and I think this next video is going to be really, really short, I'll warn you. <laughs> but for now, this has been the Parish of Saxton with Scarthingwell, and I've been Andy, otherwise known as the Village Idiot, and I'm out! Mm -hmm.